fast-paced rhythm of modern life, our minds often become battlegrounds of relentless thoughts and worries. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, offers timeless wisdom to navigate this mental maze. By embracing Stoic principles, we can learn to manage our thoughts effectively, leading to a more peaceful and focused existence. On externalize overthinking, Stoic philosophy teaches us to view our thoughts as separate from our essence. Visualize your thoughts as clouds drifting across the sky of your mind, acknowledging their presence, but not letting them dominate your landscape. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, advised focusing on the quality of our thoughts, suggesting we view them as external elements that don't define us. For example, when anxious thoughts arise, picture them as leaves floating down a river, acknowledging their presence, but letting them pass without attachment. Two main methods to externalize your thinking are writing and speaking. This approach smartly leverages our perceptual capabilities. By transforming our internal thoughts into an external format, we effectively refeed information back into our brains through a different route. This allows us to tap into extra mental resources, enabling us to process the same information from a fresh perspective. Two, redirect energy to the present. Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of living in the present. When overthinking takes hold, redirect your focus to immediate tasks or activities. This practice of mindfulness draws your energy away from the chaos of what ifs and anchors it in the on, aligning with Seneca's teachings on focusing on the present to find true happiness. Practice mindfulness during everyday activities, like feeling the texture of the paper as you write or the sensation of water as you wash dishes to anchor yourself in the now. When you've defined your values and objectives, the next step is to assess your current situation. This means examining your strong points, areas for improvement, potential opportunities, and the obstacles you're encountering by doing this. You can pinpoint aspects that require enhancement and gain a precise understanding of the changes needed to progress. Three, embrace the impermanence of thoughts. Stoicism teaches the concept of impermanence. Epictetus, another Stoic sage, taught that everything in life is transient. When overthinking about past or future events, remind yourself of this impermanence. Practice letting go of thoughts as if they were leaves floating down a river, understanding that they are fleeting and not defining aspects of your life. For example, when ruminating on past events, remind yourself that these moments are gone and only their lessons remain. It is not impermanence that makes us suffer. What makes us suffer is wanting things to be permanent when they are not. Life is too short, and it's unwise to yearn for change without taking action to realize it. If you're aiming for a new career, put in the work, research, train, educate yourself, seek counsel, and take proactive steps towards this goal. Worried about changing your attitude because of how others might respond. Embrace that change. Transform your negative outlook into a positive one. This shift can spur significant growth in all aspects of your life. Remember, adopting a positive and forward thinking mindset makes these tasks much more manageable. Or allocate time for worries. Following the stoic practice of self-reflection, allocate a specific time in your day to process worries. This worry period allows you to confront your concerns without letting them overrun your entire day. It's a structured approach to mental discipline, echoing the stoic value of controlling what we can and letting go of what we cannot. Spend 20 minutes in the afternoon to reflect on your concerns, then consciously set them aside afterward. During this period, make a note of any persistent, intrusive thoughts you experience. Acknowledge their presence. After the designated time has passed, Redirect your attention to matters within your control and take proactive steps. If something bothers you during the day, remind yourself, I'll address this concern during my scheduled time. This approach may seem straightforward, yet establishing a routine for these thoughts and providing them a tangible form of expression can significantly aid in clearing your mind. You may discover that this practice enhances your mental clarity. Five, simplify overwhelming thoughts Marcus Aurelius often spoke about turning obstacles into opportunities. When faced with overwhelming thoughts, 
break them down into smaller, actionable steps. This method transforms a daunting challenge into a series of manageable tasks, embodying the stoic principle of focusing on what's within our power to change. If you're overwhelmed by a large project, focus on completing one small task at a time. By focusing on a single task, you channel your energy from worrying to action. It's a bit to unraveling a massive knot by methodically addressing each small task. This approach doesn't ignore the complexity of your worries. Rather, it allows you to methodically work through them with intention and precision. The elegance of this strategy lies in its straightforwardness and efficacy. Every minor action you undertake generates momentum. Looking back, you'll find that the mountain of anxiety has transformed into manageable pebbles, navigated one step at a time. This technique cultivates patience, resilience, and confidence in your ability to tackle challenges directly. What once appeared overwhelming is now behind you, replaced by a sense of achievement and clarity, as overthinking gives way to resolution. Six, cultivate gratitude. In Stoic philosophy, gratitude is a powerful tool for transforming our perspective. It shifts our focus from what we lack to the abundance that already exists in our lives. This practice is rooted in the Stoic belief that happiness comes from within and is not dependent on external circumstances. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of appreciating the present moment and the blessings it holds. To cultivate gratitude, start by acknowledging the simple joys and blessings in your daily life. This could be as straightforward as savoring a peaceful morning, appreciating the comfort of a warm home, or valuing the presence of a loved one. The act of recognizing these elements redirects attention away from negative or anxious thoughts, fostering a sense of contentment and well-being. This practice is not about ignoring life's challenges, but about balancing our perspective. By acknowledging the good alongside the difficult, we develop a more holistic view of our experiences. This balanced outlook helps in reducing the intensity and frequency of overthinking as we learn to value the present and find joy in the ordinary. Incorporating gratitude into daily life can be as simple as maintaining a gratitude journal where you jot down three things you are thankful for each day. Over time, this habit not only enhances our mood but also reshapes our thought patterns, leading to a more optimistic and resilient mindset. In essence, gratitude and stoicism is a conscious choice to focus on abundance, fostering inner peace, and a deeper appreciation for life's simple pleasures. Seven, effort over outcome. Stoic focus on action. Stoicism teaches the value of focusing on effort rather than being fixated on outcomes. This principle is deeply rooted in the Stoic belief that we have control over our actions and intentions but not necessarily over the results. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, emphasized that our peace of mind comes from doing things right, not necessarily from achieving the desired outcome. By concentrating on the effort, we align ourselves with the process and detach from the anxiety of uncertain results. This approach encourages us to put our best foot forward in every endeavor, focusing on the quality of our work and the integrity of our actions. It's about doing what is within our power and accepting that some aspects are beyond our control. This mindset shift is liberating. It reduces the pressure of achieving perfection and outcomes, which often leads to overthinking and stress. Instead, it fosters a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment from the act of doing our best. In practicing this stoic principle, we learn to appreciate the journey itself, finding value and growth in the effort we put in, regardless of the end result. This not only enhances our resilience, but also cultivates a more contented and balanced approach to life's challenges. Eight, embrace voluntary discomfort. Embracing voluntary discomfort is a key stoic practice that teaches resilience and mental fortitude. This concept, championed by stoic philosophers like Seneca and Epictetus, involves deliberately seeking out challenging or uncomfortable situations. The purpose is not to suffer needlessly, but to strengthen one's ability to handle adversity and uncertainty. In practical terms, embracing voluntary discomfort could mean taking cold showers, fasting, or engaging in rigorous physical exercise. 
It could also involve stepping out of one's social comfort zone, like speaking in public or initiating difficult conversations. These acts, though seemingly small, train the mind to become less reactive to discomfort and more adaptable to change. This stoic exercise serves a dual purpose. First, it builds mental toughness by showing us that we can endure and even thrive in challenging conditions. Second, it provides perspective. By experiencing discomfort by choice, we are better prepared to handle life's inevitable hardships with equanimity. Over time, this practice diminishes the fear and anxiety associated with discomfort, leading to a more resilient and composed mindset. In essence, embracing voluntary discomfort is about expanding our comfort zones and cultivating a robust mental landscape capable of weathering life's varied storms. Nine, reflect on life's transience. Reflecting on the transience of life is a profound Stoic practice that brings perspective and clarity to our thoughts. Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca often contemplated the fleeting nature of human existence, using this awareness as a tool to focus on what truly matters. This reflection is not meant to evoke sadness or fear, but to serve as a reminder of the preciousness of each moment and the importance of living meaningfully. In practical terms, this means acknowledging that our time is limited and that many of the things we overthink about are insignificant in the grand scheme of our lives. This awareness encourages us to let go of trivial worries and to focus our energy on actions and thoughts that enrich our lives and the lives of others. It's about prioritizing experiences, relationships, and values that truly matter, rather than getting lost in the minutiae of daily concerns. By regularly reminding ourselves of life's impermanence, we can gain a healthier perspective on our problems. It helps us to differentiate between what deserves our attention and what is merely a distraction. This practice also fosters gratitude for the present moment, urging us to live fully and authentically without being hindered by excessive future-focused anxieties. Ultimately, reflecting on life's transience is a powerful antidote to overthinking. It grounds us in the present, enriches our appreciation for the now, and diminishes the weight of unnecessary worries. It teaches us to embrace life with open arms and a clear mind, cherishing each moment as a unique and fleeting gift. 10. Seek external wisdom. Stoicism advocates for the value of seeking wisdom beyond oneself. Recognizing that personal insights can be limited and sometimes clouded by our biases and emotions. This principle, emphasized by Stoic thinkers like Seneca, encourages us to consult others for guidance, perspective, and clarity. It acknowledges that collective wisdom can be a powerful tool in navigating life's complexities and overcoming the tendency to overthink. Seeking external wisdom involves reaching out to trusted friends, mentors, or even delving into philosophical texts for advice and perspective. This practice allows us to step outside our internal echo chambers and consider viewpoints we might not have contemplated. It's about being open to learning from the experiences and insights of others, which can provide fresh angles on our problems and decisions. This stoic practice is not about relinquishing our judgment, but enriching it. By incorporating the perspectives and knowledge of others, we can make more informed and balanced decisions. It helps in breaking the cycle of overthinking by introducing new ideas and solutions that we might not have considered on our own. In essence, seeking external wisdom is a humble acknowledgement of the limits of our understanding and an active step towards broadening our mental horizons. Stoic philosophy offers rich teachings and practical approaches that can guide us through the maze of overthinking. By applying these 10 strategies, we can learn to manage our thoughts more effectively, leading to a more peaceful and focused mind. Embrace these stoic strategies to navigate life's complexities with clarity and calm.